Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. My name again is Jeffrey Davis, and we are talking about the new economy and how people are dealing with the economy. And you know, every week we like to talk about it with our great friend Mark Z from Mark Z Legal Staffing, right there in the heart of the service economy of New England with our great weekly Mark Z moment. Hi, Mark. Hey, Jeff. Great to see you. Great to be here. Great to uh, talk to our audience. You know, Mark, I'm still buzzing about last week and all the layoffs in the legal industry and my particular uh, antagonistic point of view that law firms are not well suited for strategic planning in this new economy. But I'll let you carry this, this uh, agenda for today. What's up today? Well, you talk about planning. I think, Jeff, one of the um, situations that employers didn't plan on when, when um, we did the work in place or work from home situation is the employee's mental health. That's something that's coming out of this pandemic. Their physical health, the work in place, work from home um, situation that firms have to deal with and companies are telling their workers from a pandemic standpoint is necessary. But one of the things that employers have to focus on is the mental health of employees. They can't go to work and at least 50 to 60% of employees really would like to go back and work physically in the space. Why? For socialization, for mental, for their also their mental health because it's a good break from their families. A lot of, um, a lot of the um, employees are parents and they need to separate that break from their, their partner, from um, their, um, their family, um, their, um, their, their work, at ho- work at home and work at the office dynamics. And what's happened is the situations have melded and they, a lot of them, don't get me wrong, if you say, okay, today I wanna work from home in those days, or, or you know what, I'd like to work from home one day a week. But every day for six months or whatever, a lot of people miss that. And a lot of people need that. And, and the office was a really good diversion for a lot of people. And employers are starting to look into that and tr- are starting to, um, to have meetings to see how employees are doing and what can we do to tweak the situation. Um, the dynamics are very different. We've talked on this show before. A lot of the smaller firms have that dynamic now. Firms that are about 50 and under do have employees coming in at least two days a week. So the other days they can work at home, but at least they have, or, or, or the firm wants them to work at home, but at least they have those dynamics. The bigger oh. firms though, it's a different story. You know, Mark, I'm going to go a little bit uh, into both of your points and I'm just going to be like I am, always provocative, saying what I think. You know, in terms of uh, mental health, the stress of uh, this current economy, I know that my clients have been using me more for individual coaching, trying to help, let's say, the younger staff to deal with the pressures of this economy in every way in terms of business development, managing work-life cycles, dealing with stress. So they've been getting, and I think the firms that are investing in getting help for their people to adjust to this economy are being smarter. You can't just say, come back to work, don't come back to work. And the second thing, which I'm very sensitive to, uh, because you know I'm a little bit on the tough side, you know that, is this whole parental issue. And uh, you know I, I spent a lot of time bringing up my kids, as you did, and I was very invested in my children. But I'm hearing almost from everyone with little kids how impossible it is to try to balance with their spouse I gotta, I've got to be there. She or he's got to be there. I can't go to work. I want to go to work. My kids are in the background upset. Uh, you know, I, you know it, it, they're not able to balance this. You know, they're not going to school. They are going to school. Some towns, the unions are more radical or more, uh, uh, you know, are, are a little bit more active with not wanting to go back during COVID, which I'm not addressing that at all. I don't want to give you a thought, but I think it's really tough for these young parents uh, they don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to be, uh, but they have to be home. And, and even being home means they can't go to work. It's tough, right. both these right. issues. Right. And you know what? A lot of, you know, the argument is, well, 
Um, they can do it. They can go to work and they don't have to work from home. But the problem is one is you can't have somebody who's been in another bubble, a pan, you know, away from the pandemic, coming into your home on a regular basis because you don't know where they've been. So there's so many issues with that. The other thing, as you, as you say, a lot of the attorneys that I know that you've been coaching, not just for business development, but right now in terms of their stress, um, have said to you, because we've talked about it offline, they don't know when to end the business end to the personal because they're so interconnected and it pushes them out further to, to not having a real cutoff as far as their family. And that's putting a lot of stress on their families. Well, again, I, I, you know, these law firms are trying to run lean and keen right now. Uh, they've traditionally not been heavily invested in, uh, in, in helping people uh, with coaching because lawyers are not supposed to be vulnerable. They're supposed to be tough. And I would tell you right now, the firms that I work with, not always in the legal field, they're investing heavily on having a release valve and someone there for their clients. I know I'm doing it. I know you try to help your clients. You try to coach as well. And again, uh, this is not going to end. And I think it's going to be tough. We don't know where it's going to go. But you're going to stay on top of that for us every week. You're a great reporter. And if someone's looking for you in between now and then, how do they find you? Thank you, Jeff. It's um, markzlegal.com that you should go to, 617-338-13 number. 617-338-1300 is the number. And again, markzlegal.com is M-A-R-C-Z-L-E-G-A-L.com. You know, Mark, it's two weeks in a row we've had interviews. We're both wearing our blues. Next week, I will not have blue on. <laughs> we'll both go solids. I mean, we'll go solids, but different colors. Well, Mark, we want you to stay uh, healthy. And we know you're working. You're out there plugging away for everybody. I want to thank you for all your contributions to Radio Entrepreneurs. Thank you. You stay safe and healthy too, Jeff. You too, buddy.